Welcome back to the Mindset of Podcasting. Today, we are talking about promoting and repurposing your podcast. So the number one way to get people to listen to you is to promote your podcast on social media. No matter where you are in social media, promote it. There are ways to do this on each of the apps, and I will get a little bit more into that in this episode. So here's how the funnel goes for your podcast. Your podcast is not the top of your funnel. Social media is because most people are not going to a podcast app and searching. I mean, some are, but not a lot. <laughs> so you're going to promote it on social media. They're going to see your podcast on social media. Then they're going to go to their podcast app and look for your podcast. Then they're going to hear your podcast and your podcast is going to have a call to action that leads to your freebie. Your freebie is going to lead them to your email list, which is going to nurture them and lead them to your paid offers. That's how it works. <laughs> Now, it can be a little bit different, you know, depending on how you do it, but for the most part, that's the general funnel. So when you are recording your podcast, you always want to make sure you have a call to action. Now, even if it's not your freebie, you can do a call to action to your paid programs or anything or just to your website, somewhere to get them to the next level onto your website or onto your email list. So always make sure that you have a call to action in every single episode. That is very important. Maybe say it at the beginning or the middle. Some people kind of trail off at the end. I have a bad habit of waiting till the end and I need to stop doing that. <laughs> so, so what we want to do is we want to promote our episodes on social media. Every time they come out, maybe multiple times a week. Because here's the thing. People need to hear it more than once to actually get on and listen to it. So we want to we want to create posts so that they want to come and listen to our episodes. <laughs> So on social media, here are a few things that you can do or that I do each week to get people over. So on Instagram, I go on my stories and I talk about it, talk about what the episode is about, tell them what they're going to learn if they go listen to it and give them the link in their stories. You can now do the link thing in the story. So give them the link so they can just click on it and go listen to it. You can make an audiogram, which aren't as popular anymore. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Audiograms used to be really popular, which if you don't know what an audiogram is, it is a graphic with a snippet of your podcast over it. Even now when you post one on Instagram, they turn it into a reel. So it's like a reel with the black boxes on the top and bottom. So making like a square post now isn't as common. So I would make the real size or the story size post and put the audiogram over that because they're going to turn it into a reel anyways. So, <laughs> so doing that, maybe posting a picture of you behind the scenes, like recording your podcast and say, oh, look what's coming up on the podcast this week. Give them a little sneak peek of what's coming up. People love behind the scenes posts. So give them a little sneak peek of that. <laughs> if you're on TikTok, do a video talking about what the podcast is about. Just like your stories that you did on Instagram, do a video telling them what your podcast is about and that they should go listen to it. <laughs> you can also, sorry. So something that I use to repurpose my content is Descript. So Descript is a editing software. It does video editing, audio editing, in transcription, like I love it. <laughs> this descript is amazing. So I create my video, I put my video. Yeah. So I put my video in there, I upload my video and I will edit my video and I will put that on YouTube. So you can record your podcast video the same time that you're recording your podcast. <laughs> and then I put that video on YouTube after I'm done editing it. I take the transcription too and I put the transcription on my podcast website. And that helps with SEO because there's more keywords in the description. There's more keywords in the transcription. <laughs> so put the transcription on your website too. And this is all done all in one program. Transcription, audio editing, video editing, because you can download the audio too. So I absolutely love it. And since I have the transcription there, it's easy to pull out quotes for Twitter. You can put quotes right there on your Twitter. I haven't done this in a while. I'm not as on Twitter as I should be, but you can do that if you're on Twitter, pull out some quotes. You can turn the transcription into a blog post and put it on your website, create a blog from it. Really easy things to do all with Descript. If you want to learn more about the script, I have a link in my show notes that will take you there. It is an affiliate link because I use the script every single day in my business. I absolutely love it. 
So those are a few ways that you can repurpose your podcast episodes. So you can record your podcast. You can video it while you're recording it. You know, upload it into script. You're going to find sections of the audio that maybe you can make an audiogram with or sections that you can maybe make a reel. You can make a reel out of your podcast episodes too. So maybe a section there. You can take your transcription, put it on your website, or maybe turn it into a blog post. You can find some quotes from the transcription that you can put on Twitter, and you can put your video on YouTube. And there, you just have a bunch of places to repurpose from recording one podcast episode. A bunch of content right there. So once you're promoting this on social media and people are like, oh, let me go check out the podcast, then they're going to hear. And in the podcast, you're going to give lots of value, lots of value. You want to tell them all the things because I've said it a thousand times. If you listen to my podcast, you're going to hear me say this all the time, but if you're giving free value in your podcast. The listeners are going to be like, oh my gosh, I wonder what she could give me for free. For <laughs> Let me say that again. If you're giving free value in your podcast, your listeners are going to be like, oh my gosh, I wonder what she would give me if I paid her. So make sure that you are telling them freebies and your offers to get them on your email list. You can also create an ad for your freebies or your offers and stick them in your podcast episodes. Lots of people have created ads for that. So you can make it kind of professional with like an ad and some music behind it. So that's one way to do it. And then once you get them from the podcast onto your email list, this is where you want to nurture them. This is where you want to first deliver the freebie, give them the freebie right away, like right after they sign up, give them the freebie. Second email, you might want to tell them more about yourself. I am not an email marketer by any chance, any means. This is just what I do, but I'm not an email marketer. But the second email, I just tell them a little about me and my business and I want to get to know them better. And then the third value email is I actually give them something extra of value. I give them a little extra like workshop that I did of value so that they can be a little surprised like, oh, I got this freebie and they think that that's it. But then bam, you give them another freebie. <laughs> it just gives them a little more value, makes them feel a little more special. And then from there, I don't like to sell, but you can kind of like write them emails and just kind of PS, hey, I offer this, you know, it's just like an afterthought, like, oh, I offer this if you're interested. <laughs> so that's kind of how I do it. But just there's so many ways to repurpose your podcast. Like I think that one podcast episode could give you so much content for so many social media sites. So start repurposing it now. You have all this content sitting there. Maybe you can put them in an email, you know, if you want to start doing weekly emails to your list transcribe your podcast episode and take sections from that and put that in an email. Make your emails conversational. Like they don't have to be like special or spiffy, just the way that you talk. Just take the transcription, put it in an email. So there's so many ways to repurpose it. And also in the show notes is my call to action, my podcast launch guide, which is my freebie. So you will go and sign up for that, get my freebie and get on my email list. So if you want to start your podcast, then go check that out. And I will talk to you next week.